Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Boxing Day, 26th of December. I'm going to be making a juicy soup and I'm going to be sharing a secret to making a lumpy juicy soup. We are having the juicy soup with pounded yam. Please, if you are new here, like, share, subscribe. And so I'm going to season my meat and then boil it first. The key to a perfect juicy soup is how you season your meat. We need the mixed stock to make the goosey soup delicious. So now I'm going to season my meat. I'm going to be adding pepper and onions. And I'm also going to be adding some blended food. There you go. It's time to add my stock fish. The stuffing is optional. If you don't like sausage, you can omit this step. So I will now check if my meat is cooked, half cooked. I don't want it properly cooked because I'll cook it in the soup. I don't like my meat too soft. So what I'll do now is I'll separate the meat from the stock because I'm going to be using the stock now. So, so this is my meat stock. So I'm going to be adding red oil to my pot. I will not allow the oil to bleach. I just want it a little bit hot. And then I'll go in to add my blended pepper and onions. So I'll be adding salt to this, adding salt and my seasoning cube. So here we go. We have our pepper meat here, onions, a lot of onions. I don't joke with onions when it comes to juicy soup. And then I'll stay. I don't know when this video will be going up if i'm able to edit i don't have much space on my phone if i'm able to edit i'll upload it today but if not probably i'll edit it tomorrow so that i can have more space because this festive period i'm going to be giving you guys back to back video content so please subscribe get me to 1000 subscribers please thank you this is what i'm doing i added water to my egusi my blended egusi just to remove water i want it this thick Okay, now I'm going to go wash the stone. I'm not going to allow it to fry for long because I'm not making it today. I just wanted to give it a different taste. They have different method of making a goosey soup. This is just one of them. So when it just fries for a bit, I'm going to add my meat stock. My meat stock is still with me inside because I want the meat stock here in my goosey when frying. So I'm going to add leave it inside. So here we go. I'm going to be adding a bit of my new stock, just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to add my stock fish back to the pot. And it seems this oil is too much, so let me see how it goes when I add my, how it will look like when I add my this. A little too much. So I'll go in to add my washed dry fish.
So I will now go into add my EGC base, my EGC basic. Now you talk amu. My gas, I'll cover. I learned this method recently that when you cover a goosey so it becomes lumpy. Because I think maybe the first type of goosey we have, when I was growing up, we don't need to cover and it's always lumpy. But I noticed when I make a goosey you know, they are no longer as lumpy as when I used to make it when I was about 15, 16 years old. So now I discovered that when you close the pot, it gives the goosey more room to become lumpy. So this is the secret. So try this when you're making a goosey soup and it's, but yeah you have to reduce your gas so it doesn't get burnt. So now I'm going to check on my soup. This is how I'll be turning it. I'm only doing this to make sure it's not burning. Funky leaves. This is always a game changer for me when I'm making a juicy soup. I'm going to be adding water. Mark for a bit for ten to fifteen minutes. Then I'll go in with my next vegetable. I'll be adding pugo leaf, that's pumpkin leaf, to it. Now I'll go in with my ugo leaf, that's my pumpkin leaf. 